Barcelona moves them up to fifth in the table. Real Sociedad then second. Atleti sitting top with three games in hand. More on Atleti in a moment. But first, let's welcome in Ali Moreno to reflect on what happened at the camp now. Uh, Ali, when they went 1-0 down, you thought, uh-oh, another crisis, another crumbling for Barcelona. But they were resilient and they got the win. The first 45 minutes for Barcelona today against Real Sociedad is the best 45 minutes they have played all year long. Uh, now, the bar has been very low for Barcelona, so therefore, it's easy to sort of get excited about Barcelona when you actually see them connecting passes, creating opportunities, dynamic in the attack, change of pace, high energy. And not only did they score the goals, it's the manner in which they score the goals. The fact that you have Frankie de Jong appearing in the 18-yard box and being an option in the attacking half, it really hasn't happened in the past. And to, for Barcelona to see that and get productivity out of Frankie de Jong is something that adds value to this team. You had chances for Griezmann, you had chances for Braithwaite, you had chances for Pedri. The first 45 minutes, fantastic for Barcelona, even though they give up a goal, but you come to expect that from a vulnerable team in the back. The second 45 minutes is, oh boy, false hope again from Barcelona. You thought they were better than they had been all year long? No, no. They went back to being the team they have been. And now they got pushed back by Real Sociedad. And in the end, they're hanging on. And I mean hanging on. Ter Stegen's having to come up with save. Barcelona unable to maintain possession of the ball. There was a sequence of play in the 77th, 78th minute for Real Sociedad where they're keeping the ball in the attacking half, 25 yards away from goal for Barcelona. And they just, they just keep knocking the ball around. Eventually, Nacho Monreal, the left back for Real Sociedad, is the one that misses an opportunity at the back post. But just to see the image of Barcelona being pushed back at the camp now, the way that they were by Real Sociedad, is discouraging. First 45 minutes, great. Second 45 minutes, awful. Somewhere in the middle is where Barcelona sits right now. Inter Milan crashing out of Europe, and some were saying the one silver lining on that was the fact that they could focus domestically. Obviously, a win today, but boy, they had to work hard for it. Yeah, they're going to have to do a lot more focusing if, if, if they're going to make those extra days count. Um, if you, you look at the way they played, well, especially once Napoli went down to 10 men, this was extremely nervy at the end uh, for Inter. There, there's still a lot of things that, that Antonio Conte needs to work on to get the best uh, out of his team, even when he made his changes. Um, they, they just looked like a team that, that played with fear and, and without that aggression and that intensity, which in the past were hallmarks of Conte's teams. Now, you can get away with playing without uh, aggression and intensity if you have other things going on. But the problem is uh, Conte doesn't really have those other things going on either, uh, especially you know, when we saw it and against a good side, against a very talented side like Napoli, who were unfortunate as well. Um, you know, you saw how things turned out. But still, it's a win, and they look at the table, and look, all of a sudden, Milan don't seem that far away. As a result of Milan dropping points, Gav? Yeah, and, uh, I, you know, I think if you mean, look, Ibrahimovic is, uh, is, is about to come back. Simon Kerr is going go, to come back. I, I thought they deserved more um, out of this game based on, based on the way they played. Um, but, you know, they, they have a, they're playing without Ibrahimovic, without Benacer, without, uh, without Gabia and Kerr uh, at the back, the, the kid you saw, Kalulu, who ended up scoring the equalizer. You know, I think this is only his second appearance uh, for Milan, and he's actually really a right back. A, a teenage right back uh, who, who, has to, who has to play in central defense. So, um, again, I think they showed a lot of character. And um, I think you, you know, you're going to drop points eventually, but the unbeaten streak now up to 26 games in, in Serie A. And, uh, and, and a, I think a very solid performance for Stefano Pioli. Well, thank you very much for watching ESPN on YouTube. For more sports highlights and analysis, be sure to download the ESPN app. And for live streaming, premium content, and let's not forget as well, ESPN FC, seven days a week. Subscribe to ESPN+. Plus.